Hi everybody, Electronics here, and today we're going to be playing Butcher at the Towers of Doom. So let's have a look at our team compositions. It's going to be Butcher, Greymane, Zagara, the Hawk, and Morales. Versus Sylvanas, Leming, Tessida, Lost Vikings, and Diablo. Okay, this is... This is, these are really interesting team compositions because we have the Morales synergy with me and Greymane uh, with her steam drone, even Zagara. And they have the Lost Vikings which are arguably the strongest hero on this map. Um, at least in constructed matches, but uh, let's see. Let's see about this uh, quick match, how it goes. Yeah. This, this can be very interesting, because Tessadar also can shield uh, his carries really well. Uh, the health pools of Sylvanas and Leming allow Tessadar to really shine as a support. Okay, okay. So, I actually don't know how to build Butcher properly, but I've been having a lot of fun uh, with going for the um, blood build. So you go for like victuals. Uh, then you pick up uh, the Unrelenting Pursuit, then Abater, Abasser, you pick Abasser, then Lamb to a Slaughter, or Furnace Blast. I think we'll go for the Lamb, uh, that that way we can lock down Tessadar, leaving like all of those guys. Tessadar wouldn't be able to phase shift while he's silenced, so that would help a lot. Uh, then after that we'll go for, I guess, uh, Crave Flash. Yeah, I feel like that's it. Uh, and at level 16 we'll go for Blood Frenzy, and uh, if Morales goes for the attack speed, uh, we, would we would be able to do a lot of damage. So yeah, they have Vikings, and this is, this is why Vikings are really strong on this map, because teams can do just like this. And there is, like, I can't stop it, like, we need, like, five people to stop this, and it's not gonna happen. In fact, it's a bad idea, kind of, to go as five people. Uh, versus Vikings, uh, unless we can actually like kill them. Well, I had to go for the tank because he was like the closest. Yeah, and now we have five, five of us here. Uh, okay, we actually killed Diablo and that's really good. So really good rotation by our team, but uh, what we have to do now is we need to actually start uh, soaking again. Uh, but that was really cool. We fought a 4 versus 4 I'm sorry, Morales, for spreading you uh, the poison. And uh, we kind of won it. So yeah, as, lo as long as our guys, our teammates, uh, keep uh, killing uh, the Vikings, we should be fine. Uh, so I didn't even pick my talent, damn it. As always, as always with the talent picks. Okay, get out, get out of here, Morales. Okay, can we get something done here? Something would have been nice. Yeah, we need we need mana for Morales as soon as possible because right now Vikings will just dominate. I feel like we should maybe give up. Uh... Uh, so Greymain and uh, the Haka are securing top. Uh, this means that we can actually uh, do something here. At least we killed Diablo, but I wasn't really able, like I had no mana, so I wasn't really, uh, why is the hell, like he should have been there, because like Liming can just stall them forever, if he is that close, like if he was there Liming would have needed to kind of commit to stopping the Haka from, ca like what was he doing? Yeah, so yeah, like right now she can't actually stop him without dying. And there we go, that's a death. So if I actually had mana in that uh, bottom fight with Morales, I would have actually been able to do some things, but as it stands, I wasn't really in a place uh, to do that. Okay, so there is... Oh my god, Tessadar, I shouldn't be tanking the, the things. Okay, so Unrelenting Pursuit, this will help us with uh, chasing, with splitting targets too. Somebody should go for it. Man, that phase shift is just so annoying. Okay guys, let's get out of here. 
Sylvanas died? How? Was it like Zagara's minions or something? <laughs> that was... What? That's so interesting. Yeah, we are just dominating them. So it started kind of bad, but uh, we are kind of winning the team fights. Although uh, Vikings are getting experience and it's, it's not gonna be helpful in the long run. There we go. Just uh, just some meat for us. Yeah, we also need to get our meat stacks back because if we had some meat, maybe we would have we would have been able to kill Tessadar. I don't know though. Might be wrong there. Yeah, probably not because uh, we, he would have had like 50 health left or something like that, and we needed one more attack and we just couldn't make it uh, in time. Oh, that's that's a lot of people. And that's slow. Uh, wait, how did I? I felt like really slow. My auto attacks felt really slow. Morales should have just given me up there because, first of all, I face checked the bush. And I kind of knew, like, the reason I went there because I knew that they were doing the camp. But at the same time, I knew that they were doing the camp. So I shouldn't have done that. But I just felt, I felt uh, the need for. The need for blood, so with the abbas abattoir, I have no idea how to pronounce this, uh, we will be able to not lose all of our mid stacks every time we die, and sadly you tend to, to do that a lot as butcher, I mean we will lose the fort no matter what, like that's what Sylvanas and Vikings do kind of on this map, we can't really counter that, so we will need to get at least one of these uh, altars no matter what so how's how's Morales doing can actually get a kill on Well, this, this is bad uh, Morales actually got the shrine and Li Ming is bottom for some reason uh, if Zagara actually went ahead and helped us there, we would have killed them all. But she's like... Yeah, she actually tries to get... I guess, I mean, it's a decision, it's not the best one. Also, they had level 10. So, they will get 5 shots. But if if Zagara actually went ahead uh, and uh, helped us there, or Greymane... What was Greymane here? How did uh, who was Li Ming fighting? I don't know. Maybe maybe it was Zakara. But if if she actually helped us stop, uh, we would have been able to get both shrines. Oh my God! She actually survived that. Well, at least I cleaned it up. Man, I, I was afraid that she would actually escape there. Uh, if I actually missed my hamstring, uh, she would have had a good chance of escaping. But yeah, it's a little bit sad that uh, I wasn't able to kill her before she killed the Haka. I guess if I used my ultimate, it would have been enough. But I didn't think that just like killing Li Ming without any gain. Like we aren't fighting for the altars or anything, so it would it would have been an XP, uh, just a bunch of experience uh, for 90 second cooldown, and I didn't think it was a good idea. But let's just keep pushing, let's keep uh, the pressure going. Uh, what? What's the up? Why are they fighting bottom? Wait, they're actually killing them. Wow, Greymane is just destroying everybody. Guess good job, Greymane. Okay, Li Ming is back. They will clear this camp with Sylvanas and everything. I can't really stop them from doing that. But Greymane is just evaporating their whole team while two of them are busy clearing top. For some reason, Sylvanas would have been enough. Yeah, like, as long as you keep pressure on Vikings and kill them, they can't really do their job. But at the same time, it's kind of Vikings' job uh, to distract your team. The Haka should be a lot more careful there, he can easily die. So I will go for the capture. Uh, the reason because I can easily charge somebody from our backline, uh, while my teammates actually need the... Uh, to kind of be there. Can I actually get a flank on Li Ming there? I'm trying to chase her down. And there we go. Okay, good. Good. 
<laughs> that was <laughs> running around that I should have probably gone here because I knew that she would have engaged. Uh, so I should have pursued her accordingly. So I will go for Crave Flash. Uh, this will allow us to stick to our uh, targets uh, better when we brand them. Because right now they just run away. Like Sylvanas, Leming, all of them can just easily run away. But uh, with Crave Flash we would be able to chase uh, them down a little bit. A little bit better. What? What was her plan there? She's so dead. Dude, Zagara, come on. Yeah, that, that's kind of the best I could have done there. I was slowed down by something. I don't know. I felt like the thing is, oh my god, the passing. The passing in this game is just ridiculous. Actually, Zagara killed, and then she wasted her ultimate on Vikings. And that's what I was like saying, like I'm always saying this, but she wasted a 2 minute cooldown to try and save herself from a 30 second death. Even if she saved herself, that would have been a waste. Like it's better to let yourself just die and uh, have that devouring more when we actually need it. Because right now it's, it's just gone. Can Greymane actually get the kill? Uh, yes, and I will help him in just a second. Oh, I was actually able to silence Desidar there, but his uh, passive procced. Oh, that was so... like, pre-science actually procced, so that wasn't... THE best. Oh, let's kill... Uh, let's kill Eric here. Oh, actually, let's uh, let's actually get killed by Diablo. Oh, good job, Morales. She actually did uh, a good job uh, staying in the right position and not uh, fully engaging. So let's tap the fountain and uh, re-engage. So there is the Haka. Uh, let's actually go for Tassadar. Oh, I actually got stunned. Man, that was kind of sad. Oh, people are actually dying. Oh, the, the Sylvanas Juke! Sylvanas Juke! Damn it! Uh, let's actually go for Blood Frenzy. Now we have um, uh, the attack speed. If you can brand, yep, there, there we go. A kill. Wow. <laughs> Okay, okay, so this is done. We are, we are set here. There is no way they actually are uh, going to escape. This is funny. This is a fun interaction. I actually never saw Butcher getting stuck in a wall before, so it was kind of funny that he didn't try around, he just <laughs> tried to brute force through the wall. I guess it was the closest pass available, but it's kind of weird. Yeah, our attack speed would actually help us uh, deal with Diablo too. Uh, we aren't a giant killer, but with this build you actually have almost the same damage output. Like if the tanks just tank your damage, uh, you would deal... You might as well be a giant killer, because your attacks are so powerful. Uh, although, yeah, somebody like Cho'Gal, that wouldn't really... Yeah, you can't compare a giant killer and Cho'Gal uh, to Butcher. But uh, on somebody like uh, Diablo, Meridian, those guys, it's good enough. Like, it's not the same damage, not exactly, but it's more or less good enough. And Zagara is dead once again. Let's actually look how many times we... We actually died four times, which is not, not that bad, not that bad actually. It could have been worse, you know? Uh, by the way, I feel like it's also a waste. Uh, your hamstring... You know, the way hamstring works is uh, you can attack, then use hamstring and the butcher will attack again right, right away. So you will, won't need to reset the cooldown, uh, but to wait for the cooldown. Uh, but uh, the way Blood Frenzy works is I feel that, that you don't actually... Oh my god, wow, the disengage by Butcher, that was amazing. That was really good. Uh, by Diablo, I mean. Yeah, and... Uh, I will try. Oh no, she's so dead. Oh, she actually has Medivac, what? 
That's so... Why... Why does she have Medivac? Man, that's bad. If we had the Steam... Uh, steam Drone... Okay, we should be able to grab this one. Zagara actually will be able to grab the middle one, and I will actually contest the uh, Tessadar here. Except I screwed up. I should have just uh, went in and meleeed him with uh, hamstring. Man, that was my bad. But we we'll, we have our stun again. Uh, actually, Zagara completely destroyed. Uh, oh, this is annoying. Yeah, I won't be able to pierce uh, through through that. <laughs> that was an amazing wall by Tessadar. Uh, so Butcher isn't really like the best of the heroes, and the reason for that is that you don't have escape. Like that's like you engage and that's it. Oh wow! Like like there, like they slowed me a little bit, and I I was just like there was no way I could have escaped that. Where is somebody like the Haka? If he didn't engage that, like the Haka, oh my god, like Rayman, if he didn't engage that, he wouldn't be able to get out of there. Maybe. Possibly. Oh, they will actually get all five keeps and we will just start losing this game because right now we are actually in the lead, weirdly enough. Uh, if you count uh, the. Uh, siege damage but XP wise and map control wise we are so behind Zagara is actually fighting minions that's uh, that's good that's good so what's what's happening how can we how can we do this yeah there's like no way they won't let us go uh, they will get a uh, three sh altars constantly we can't actually contest even uh, the altar okay so i will go for bolt of the storm because that's kind of what, what was killing us uh, this whole game uh, the fact that we weren't able to escape if the enemies would have engaged us no 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 let's actually do this I actually would have wanted to go for the boss there. Wow, I actually entered the medivac uh, by mistake. That was great. That's why I, I like. Why? Why did you go for medivac? Man, I could have potentially killed Sylvanas there, but because I misclicked, and the Haka died somehow. Okay, so what's happening here? I can't actually fight a 1 versus 4, so I will just go ahead and grab the bottom fort instead. Man, we need some stacks. We we are 10 stacks behind what we could be. At least we can kill this fort pretty fast. As uh, they are rotating bottom, so we should escape. Uh, but we do have our bolt of the storm, so I feel like getting stacks is more valuable. Uh, then uh, they actually doing the boss. Yep, there we go. Uh, the the thing about this boss is that it's super low on health. Uh, I'm not gonna engage that uh, because of the attack speed. I will let the minions tank it because right now we can maximize our damage. Uh, the thing about this boss is that it has a much lower health pool. Uh, so by the time you think like, oh, they might be doing boss because you don't see them on the map, they already done. Like they are already done. So this, it's it's kind of interesting how this boss uh, functions a little bit differently from uh, other uh, bosses in game. I actually wasn't able to land my uh, ruthless onslaught, so I I didn't get the cooldown reduction from it. If we can actually kill something here. Okay, that's good. Now, Morales, why aren't you capturing? Why did she push her away? Oh, that was so weird and funny. Heal me! 
Heal me, 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 heal me. There we go. Okay, this is such a risky play. Let's actually kill. No, I'm gonna be stunned. Yep, and we are so dead. That's <laughs> so bad. And I'm dead. Yes, yes, I'm dead. That was such a bad idea. I just wanted to kill the Viking and get out, and, and then everybody collapsed on the keep. And now we are back again at this position where we give them all of our keeps, and this is where we lose the game. Yeah, we lost. I mean, Vikings are overpowered, right? Like, the... <laughs> Man, this, this was... This was, this was great, and we are just now just sitting here watching the game completely do all, like, oh, this is bad. Like, this map feels so weird, like, right now there is no, like, you just sit there and watch your base slowly die, just slowly ticking that health down. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing, and as always, thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.